I first met Jensen when I was heading up all product development at Adobe. And we had heard about this company, NVIDIA, that wanted to do everything graphics on a chip. And I had heard even at that point that he was a very persuasive executive. It became very clear in the first meeting that Jensen was a very charismatic young guy who had a vision for creating an important company. When you meet somebody who's very bright and self-deprecating and funny and has already in their life demonstrated a lot of perseverance and pluck, I just knew we wanted to be in business with these guys. Actually, Steve Jobs told me I ought to go speak to Jensen with what I was interested in. Jensen walks in, says hi, puts his hand in his pocket, and pulls out a couple of new chips. And he goes, look at what I have. Look how cool this is. Look at what this can do. That was my introduction. The first time I met him, someone told me that uh, this guy is the CEO of NVIDIA. I looked at him, he just looked like any engineer. He is really an engineer's CEO, in my opinion. When I chat to him, he can still speak with deep knowledge and technical precision about hardware and software matters, about neural network architectures, for example. One surprise to me, he took me to a sushi restaurant and he spoke with surprisingly deft precision about sushi, which I totally did not expect. There are probably many more surprises for all to discover about Jensen in the future as well. A few years ago, he came to Toronto and gave a talk. And I realized he was someone who could think very quickly on his feet. He said that NVIDIA realized in 2012 they had a scientific supercomputer for doing deep learning. And I pointed out that we knew that in 2009. And so he promptly gave me, right there in the lecture, their very latest special edition GPU that had 32 gigabytes of memory. Suddenly, we got this huge speed up. And all the things we wanted to do now worked because we could compute so much faster. The GPUs were like every graduate student having his own supercomputer. And that was amazing. The GPU itself became a compute platform, an open platform where others could come in and innovate. And of course, that was the secret to our success as we coupled our CPUs to the GPUs in both the PlayStation 3 platform, but also the Summit and Sierra supercomputers. NVIDIA has transformed the company from being just a 3D graphic card company to be a platform business that it truly influenced every aspect of our lives. Adobe and NVIDIA have had this amazing relationship, and I think it stems from the fact that Jensen really takes the time to understand what Adobe's objectives are and how NVIDIA can help accomplish that, and together, frankly, how we can create magic. Jensen's initial presentation to us that we need to be doing AI for detecting early disease, we never even thought about doing it. It wasn't like, you know, we were doing it, we were gonna do it. It wasn't until after he left that I spoke to Bert Vogelstein at Hopkins, and the next thing you knew, the Lust Garden Foundation was funding us. And I think that's really what Jensen brings to you, is listening to what you need and helping you come up with the solutions that'll benefit you. For Jensen, it's the love of technology and what it can do for other people. And it comes through, you see it, it's genuine. Jensen, more than anyone, shined a light into the future. He took what looked like science fiction to dreaming and then to building. A lot of the progress in AI over the last decade would not have been possible if not for Jensen's visionary leadership. I think Jensen's impact on the semiconductor industry, on AI, and through that on the world is almost incalculable. Congratulations, Jensen, on this very well-deserved award.